I love watching old school, can't play it though. I think that's the same for a lot of people, especially RuneScape 3 players. Um, if you take a look at my YouTube statistics, basically all of my viewers, um, like their most viewed content besides mine is all old school content. It's always been that way. Like there's a section on YouTube where I can see uh, other things that my audience is watching, right? And it's always um, like Mr. Mammal, um, what's his name? Sir Pugger, um, Solo Mission, thank you, Jesus. I don't know why I had a complete brain fart there, but yeah. Now those videos get a lot more views, so you're bound to have more crossover, but like my viewers are never watching Protox videos, you know what I mean? Like Protox very, very rarely shows up in that category. Yeah, Settled is always there too. So I think a lot of RuneScape 3 players watch old school RuneScape. And I don't think many old school RuneScape players watch RuneScape 3. Something about the old school formula is amazing for unique accounts. I'm not sure why old school does that, but RS3 seems smaller. Maybe it's just from how much smaller the game is. No, I think it's that old school stays a lot truer to its sandbox origins, right? Uh, RuneScape 3 has become much more linear in progression. Um, even if you take a look at like archaeology, you want to get through the archaeology tutorial because you're going to get 500 hit points right um old school runescape allows for a lot more creativity creativity within your kind of character's customization and the way you want to build it and you could argue that with runescape 3 recently we had the ability to kind of turn off um you know gaining xp and certain skills and stuff but i still think that runescape 3's progression is just very very linear everyone's going to end up doing the same things on their way to kind of getting towards the end game for me, I love watching the early grinds on RuneScape 3. When, when, when it gets to the late game, it all just feels the same every series I watch. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, that's something I struggle with creating closer to end game content on RuneScape 3 that's going to be fun for people to watch. Uh, I think I'm going to try and attempt to do that through um, when we get to like PVM and a lot more of this late game stuff. I'm going to do it more of in a learning style. Or I'm going to bring other people on to teach me these new boss fights while I learn that the fight uh kind of so you can see me go from noob to pretty good at the boss fight right that's always been my plan anyway but runescape 3 endgame just has too much to explain it's simply too complex of a game it's simply too complex which i i know that's a what do you call it but it is like we were talking on stream the other day when i was going for the uh the imkando pieces for my for my tier 80 hatchet the amount of stuff that's happening right now is absurd I've got the woodcutting outfit on. Uh, I have this buff from a cape event that's banking all my stuff for me. I have a crystal hatchet that has like these random augments on it, which are from a skill called invention, which requires three other skills to be level 80 because it's an elite skill. It's like the amount of things that you have to have knowledge about to actually understand what's happening. But as the list grows longer and longer, the content becomes less and less entertaining because it's way more difficult for you to just understand what's happening. I mean, sometimes I'm playing RuneScape and I don't even understand what's happening. <laughs> I have a general idea, but actually understanding everything that's happening on the screen is very difficult to get the point across in RuneScape 3. So. I've tried, like, I feel like with Settled, you can generally hop into a Settled video, even if it's episode 38, right? You can hop into one of his videos and you'll be able to kind of pick up on what's going on. There might be a couple of things that you might be a little bit confused about, but generally you're going to be able to pick up on what's going on. Now, part of that's because he's a very good explainer, but another part of that is because in old school RuneScape, it's just a lot less complex. There's not as many buttons on the screen. Just look at my screen right now. Like if you were a, someone who doesn't play RuneScape, because Settled has people who don't play RuneScape that watch his content. If you're someone who doesn't play RuneScape 3 though, this is too much. If I see this, I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Looks like I'm playing like, like EVE Online or something. Like this is absurd. There's just too much happening.